Hello fellow doll lovers, Barbie Nation here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning into another video with me today. My name is Aryan, aka Barbie Nation, and what I do is I collect dolls, I play with dolls, I talk about dolls, and every now and then I give them a super cute makeover. So if you're into anything cute, sweet, and petite, definitely subscribe to my channel to get some lovely pastel glitters on your feed. Now let's get into this new Barbie looks wave. Here we go. Previously on Barbie Nation. I'm gonna turn the camera around and really guide you through this review. Each have their own like Barbie looks pastel shade. It has this Versace 90s vibe. Okay, what's that about? And let's get these off. So here he is in the buff. Look at him. He looks so good. I, oh my gosh, I love her face. Loving the hair. Look at that pretty face and that outfit. So what I am noticing here is that her arms have kind of like a different shading. And I'm actually also noticing the skin tone difference in her arm as well. And look at that face. Gorgeous. And I'll see you all in part two where we're going to give this Barbie Lux crew a super cute and trendy new Barbie Nation look. <laughs> So, I welcome you all back to part two of this lovely Barbie Looks event. And of course, we are also going to have some fun with this crew. So, we're going to give them a cute makeover. So, that is what we're going to do today. If you want a full review on these dolls, check out my previous video where I talk about these dolls in detail and look at all of their details with you all. So, if you want like a full description of the dolls, go to my channel page and click on that video because that's where I'll be talking about the dolls. Uh, and now it's uh, where the fun begins. Uh, so we're going straight to the salon and uh, give these girls a little salon treatment. And of course, the Barbie Nation makeover they all deserve. So let's get to work and uh, give them some cute looks. Here we go.
to this Barbie Looks Way 4 event. Thank you all for joining us today. It is lovely to see so many familiar faces. We are celebrating one Big Looks family today. And our special guest today is the very first Looks model, Lena, model number one. What an honor to have you with us today. Honored and thrilled to be here today. Thanks for having me. I'm so excited to see the new crew and to see them restyled by you. We will present to you all six models of the fourth wave today. Each with their own restyled look styled by me, of course. Their original outfit was all pastels, which was very basic pastel cute. By far, the cutest pieces I've seen on a Barbie Looks wave. I wish our wave had a splash of color. Well, let's not forget our horrible color block outfits. Who knew color could be too much? Oh gosh, yeah, I remember. I've seen people burn them because no thrift stores would accept them. Those poor wave three curls. Are you all ready to welcome your new family members? Let's welcome them with loving arms, a new top, and some awesome shoes. Oh, and a cute hairstyle, of course.
So this was my Barbie looks wave four restyle and I really love how they all turned out. So let's just go over them one by one real quick. Starting off with Ken and his blue sporty getup. I really love this look on him. It's so sporty. It's so simple actually, but it really fits him. And especially with those Nike shoes, oh, I just really love it. And I put the cap on his head because his hair, I did kind of fix it, but yeah, it's not his best feature. So I decided to put a cap on his head and I thought he just looked adorable with that cap. So yeah, that's that. Um, and I gave him the sports bag from the Stony Clover Lane Barbie doll. And the Nike shoes he's wearing are actually keychains. So um, if you're looking for those type of shoes for your Ken dolls, just go over to Amazon, type in Nike keychain, and you'll see a variety of these shoes, which are actually keychains. But uh, of course you can take the chain off and use them as doll shoes. Second is Ms. Andra, the redhead. Yeah, I miss Daphne also. <laughs> because she's giving heavy Daphne Scooby-Doo vibes. Um, I love this kind of like mixture of school uniform with like Victorian era and this, you know, kind of like 90s Spencer on. I, yeah, I thought she just looked so super cute. The uh, Spencer is actually from a Clueless fashion pack. Um, the white... Uh, kind of like blouse is from a BTS prestige doll and the skirt is from a Barbie extra doll. Now you know. Over to Miss Victoria, model number 22, the petite one with the short hair. Yeah, I, yeah, I really am a fan of petite bodies, but for some reason it just did not match with her head and that hair and no. She needed an original type made to move and I had to give her that. So I used again the red head uh, made to move with the midge face and the teal top. So that's the body that she has now. And um, yeah, with the heating of her head, I did wash her hair or well, I always dunk the head in like sort of kind of almost boiling water, so really, really hot water. While I was heating up her head, of course, all of the glue and all of the gel washed out of her hair. So what I did was I just restyled her hair with gel. And I didn't film it. Yeah, that was kind of dumb. But yeah, that's what I did to her hair. So um, if you were wondering, I just gelled it back up. But kind of like in a cuter style, if you ask me. Uh, previously, she had like this low um, kind of like bang hanging in front of her head, but uh, I just kind of lift it up. Not completely the same as her promo image, but inspired by her promo image. Anyway, she looks super cute in this look. She looks slick. She looks sporty. She looks chic. I really love her in this look. She has the pants from Barbie style from the set that came with Ken and Barbie. The top is from, I don't really know, I think, I want to say from a Barbie extra doll, but I'm not sure. And the shoes and the purse and, you know, the accessories, I really cannot remember where they all came from. I think various accessory packs and fashion and whatnot. I really had my doubts on her, but seeing her on an original type made to move makes her look so much better. Yeah. Absolutely, 100%. Moving on, we have Miss Heidi. Yeah, I love her in this corporate uh, look. You know, I love me some good corporate looks. So uh, she's actually wearing the blazer. Are you calling that a blazer? Yeah, or the jacket from the Ken from the Barbie style uh, set that came with Barbie and Ken. You know, the Barbie with the pants that Victoria was wearing. Well, Heidi is wearing Ken's jacket. It looks so cute on her. Kind of bit of like oversized. I was thinking of maybe adding like this belt, but then the jacket just came out wrong. So it wasn't really a cute fit. So I just left it loose. Super cute. Her little blouse underneath is from Hudson Bay Barbie. And the skirt is actually from a set that I got from AliExpress. Yeah. 
So I really love Heidi's look. Didn't do much to her hair, just dunked it in hot water just to get rid of the, you know, box hair condition that she had. So uh, she had like this dents in her hair that her hair was attached. So now she has these beautiful braids and I didn't need to change a thing about her. Next up is Miss Simone, model 24, the curvy girl. And she looks, I, I want to say she's probably one of my favorite restyles I did on this wave. It looks so good on her. It just fits her all so well. She looks girly, but tough. She looks street, but you know, also fashion-y. I really love it. Um, so the top is from Creatable World, actually. The skirt underneath is actually from a Cutie Reveal doll. I think the Lion. Yeah, that's the one. And the shoes are actually from the Mini Fashion Series, which has shoes now. Perfect. For curvy girls, at least. And um, I, you know, put some accessories on her. The leggings, I think I got on AliExpress. But, you know, the whole picture, it just, it looked, it just looked finished. <laughs> really, really love that about her. Yeah, last but not least, of course, of course, Miss Lena, <gasps> model number 23. Girl, you are so pretty. She was giving me Britney Spears toxic. The bodice is actually from a Mitzi mermaid doll. Yeah, and it just looks so good on her in this look. The skirt is actually from a Defa Lucy doll, um, the one I did in my test run. And I mean, my gosh, yeah, she just looked so perfect with that hair. Usually I just, you know, take all of my accessories, you know, throw them out all on the floor just to see what I all got. And it is just a variety of sources where all of this comes from. So I have no clue. <laughs> But um, yeah, she is looking so cute. And you know, it can make such a difference on how a face is painted. That's why I did kind of like these little clips of where you see their faces next to some other variants of that same face. For instance, the Heidi face, it, it can make such a difference on how it's painted, right? Same goes for Simone, especially for Victoria and Andra also. Yeah, it just, it's so nice to see all those variations. So, of course, let me know which look was your favorite. All the way from model 20 to 25, who is your favorite doll from this wave? Who was your favorite restyle? Did you make any changes to your petite Victoria? Or did you rebody any of the other dolls, maybe? You know all the tea about these lovely, lovely Barbie looks dolls. So let's continue the conversation down in the comments below and I'll see you all in my next video. Mwah. Okay, so that's it for today, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and of course, click the bell icon next to the subscribe button to get notified by any new videos that I upload. You can also follow me on Instagram at Barbie Nation. That's usually where I post all of my updates. And until the next video, mwah, big kisses from me, and I love you all.